everyone, it's Kara LeBlanc, lifestyle product expert, here to show you all of the functions and features of the Adoki Dual Digital Alarm Clock. First of all, this alarm clock allows you to set two alarms at two different times for two different people or the same person if you require different wake up times. That's just the beginning of all the amazing things that you can do with this alarm clock. So let's get started. Now when your alarm clock arrives, it's gonna look like this. It's gonna be a blank dark screen because you need to power it up. It runs on two power sources. You can plug it into an electrical outlet to run on electricity, or it can be battery powered. And here is the battery compartment right here. Batteries are not included, so you are going to need to purchase three triple A batteries to put in your battery compartment here at the bottom of the alarm clock. That's super important because should you lose power, should you lose electricity, the alarm clock will keep working to make sure you wake up on time. All right, so let's power it up and let me get started and show you all of its features. The alarm clock does come with a power cord you will use to plug in to the outlet. The power cord attaches to the back of the alarm clock right here in this port. So we're going to plug the power cord into the back of the alarm clock. And we're going to plug the other end into the electrical outlet and get started. The first thing we're going to do is to set the time and the day of the week on the alarm clock. To do that, there is a button on the back that says time set. You press it once. The hour is flashing. You can increase or decrease the hours. It is currently 5.30 p.m. I press the plus sign, one, two, three, four, five. Now, I press time set again to get the minutes flashing. It is 5.30, so I'm going to increase the plus sign to 30. There I have the time at 5.30 p.m. I need to set the day of the week. It is currently Tuesday. This says Sunday, so I press the time set again, and I increase the day of the week from Monday to Tuesday, and there you go. I have my clock set for 5.30 p.m. Tuesday. Now that I have my correct day of the week and correct time set, I'm ready to show you the other features. The alarm clock can display the time in 12-hour mode or 24-hour mode. I currently have it in the 12-hour mode. It says 5.30 p.m. If I want to see the time in 24-hour mode, I press the button on the back. It's a 12 slash 24 hour button right here. I press it once and now you can see that my time is displayed in the 24 hour mode. I'm gonna switch it back to the 12 hour mode. Again, I press the 12 slash 24 hour button and you'll see the time reverts back. What sets this alarm clock apart from many other alarm clocks in the market is the fact that you can set two alarms for two different times. On the back of the alarm clock, you have two buttons, alarm one set and alarm two set. We're going to set the first alarm. I press alarm one set. You'll notice that the hours are flashing. I'm going to set my alarm for 7 a.m. So I'm going to decrease by pressing the minus button, the hour to seven. Now I want to set the minutes. So I press alarm one set again and I'm going to set it for 7 a.m. It's set to the zeros already, so I press alarm one set to set the alarm. Now you see that there is a little bell icon with the number one. That tells me that my first alarm is now set to 7 a.m. Now I want to set the second alarm. To do that, I press alarm to set Again, you're going to see the hours flashing. I'm going to set that one for 9 a.m. So I press the plus button up to nine, and then I'm going to press the alarm set to again for the minutes. I'm going to leave the minutes at zero, zero because I want to wake up at 9 a.m. to set the minutes. Press alarm set to again. Now you'll notice that there are two bell icons. Number one alarm, number two alarm. Right there on the face of the clock, it tells me that I have two different alarms set. Now here's another convenient time-saving feature. 
You can set your alarms for multiple days of the week so you don't have to reset your alarm every single day after it goes off. You can set the alarm for seven days a week, five days a week, or the weekends. And to do that, on the back of the alarm clock, you have for both alarm one and two, the ability to toggle between the three options. So for alarm one, you notice that you have three options, Saturday through Sunday, Monday through Friday, or Monday through Sunday. I want to set my first alarm with a wake up call of 7 a.m. for five days a week. So I'm going to toggle this button over to the middle option and I'm going to have it set Monday through Friday. Now for my second alarm that's set for 9 a.m., I just want that one set for the weekend. So I'm going to go to alarm two and I'm going to toggle that button over here to Saturday through Sunday. So that alarm is set for the weekend only. Now that we've set both alarms and we've set those alarms to the days of the week that we want them to wake us up to, it's time to pick out the alarm sound that we want to wake up to. We there are five sounds you can choose from by pressing the alarm sound button on the back of the alarm clock. The first, classic alarm, telephone, birds chirping, piano, beautiful music. Those are your five options by pressing the alarm sound button. To turn your alarms on or off, there are buttons on both sides of the alarm clock. This button turns alarm one on and off. When you press it once, you'll see that that bell icon disappeared. That means my alarm one is off. On the other side, I press this button to turn off alarm two. And now you see the bell icon has disappeared there as well. To turn the alarms back on, super simple. Go back and press alarm one. There it is right there. There's that bell icon telling me alarm one is now ready to go. Press the other button. There's that bell icon telling me that alarm two is set and ready to go. So if you're like me, when that alarm goes off in the mornings, you are probably looking for the snooze button. It's very easy to find on the alarm clock. It's very large. It's on the top of the alarm clock. You simply press it and that will give you nine additional minutes of rest time before the alarm goes off again to remind you it's time to get up. The alarm clock's large LED face makes it easy to see the time. The numbers are displayed at 1.5 inches in height, so they're large enough for you to see in just about any condition. And you can control the brightness of your LED time display. On the side, there is a wheel that you can scroll up or down. You can go from high to low. That's your dimmer function that allows you to control the brightness of your time display. So you can go dim it all the way down to darkness or you can adjust it all the way up to 100% brightness. This is a great function, especially at night if you're sensitive to light and you want to control the brightness of your time display. You simply use your dimmer wheel right here and you can dim all the way up to high or all the way down to low or somewhere in between. The alarm clock also has a volume control right here. There's your little side wheel. You can scroll it up to high or down to low or somewhere in between to adjust the volume of the alarm clock sound. So I'm gonna press the alarm. High, low. And if the alarm clock didn't do enough already, there is an added feature that I really appreciate. On the back of the alarm clock is a USB port that allows you to connect a USB cord to charge your smart devices. So I am going to charge my iPad right here on my nightstand. You see that it is connected to the back of my alarm clock. So my alarm clock is working to tell time, wake me up, keep me on schedule, and charge my smart device using the USB port. 
So if you are looking for an alarm clock that is packed with functions and features that allows you to set two alarms at two different times, and even as a bonus, allows you to charge your smart device, then you should check out the Adoki Dual Digital Alarm Clock. It operates on battery power and it operates on electricity power. I love it and I really think you're gonna find it super functional too.